So you just picked up the MX Master 3 and you're super excited about it, but you don't know how to fully utilize its capabilities. This video is for you. I'm gonna go through the settings on my MX Master 3 and how I use it for my workflow. And after that, you're gonna be able to customize it for your own liking and be able to be way more efficient using the MX Master 3. Hi, my name is Matthew and on this channel, we talk about tech and process improvement. If that's something you're interested in, please subscribe and hit the notification if you wanna be notified every time I make a video. So when you first open the Logitech Options app, you're gonna be shown the mouse that you have and you're gonna be able to decide how to customize the buttons. I wanna show you how I use this mouse to increase my workflow. What I've really found interesting about this mouse is that you can use gestures, so you can swipe left, right, up and down for every single button that you have here. This is just for my everyday tasks and how I use it. I like to copy and paste. So I've set that in my mouse, so I'm able to copy and paste on my Excel spreadsheet, and then I'm able to paste it, say, into a browser or something like that. So what I do is this up, this top button, I've changed it to a gesture. And as you can see, um, when you press gesture, you can customize it. So I always customize it because then I can pick what swiping left does, swiping right does, and pressing the button does all together. So you really have five controls for every button you have on your mouse. So for this one, I leave a lot open. I want to let you be able to decide what kind of features and uh, abilities you use for work and what you use for your computer every day so you can be the most efficient you can be. So one thing that I use all the time is I control and paste. So instead of using my keyboard, I actually am able to use my mouse. So I've set this up, so this button here I've changed to, to a gesture. So pressing down on this top button is a keystroke assignment that I have. So when I click this gesture button, what you can see is when I just press on that button, it is control C, which is my copy. So that's really useful. And then my paste I have on this bottom button, and I've also changed it to a gesture button. And as you can see, I have control paste. So I'm gonna go to an Excel spreadsheet and show you how useful this can be. So say you wanna copy everything that you have here. I can just easily control paste with my keyboard, but when I'm using my mouse, I can just copy and then over here I can paste. That was super simple. I didn't have to remove my hand from my key mouse. I could just instantly go like this, copy, paste, copy, paste. Super simple, but it's just super useful for anything that I'm doing because I'm just copying and pasting everything a lot of the time in the job that I do. Now, to add on to that, usually when I am copying and pasting, I have to enter and to continue when I'm pasting that information in. How this would be useful is say I have this this cell here, I, I wanna copy Duck Hunt into my browser. So I can just go to my browser and I can paste it and then enter. So how I did that is I didn't even touch my keyboard, I just used the mouse for all of those features. How I did that is on my scroll wheel, I have enter on the right side. So what I do is I copy with this top button, I paste with the bottom gesture button and then I can enter by entering the scroll wheel and swiping right. Instantly, you can see how useful this is because I can copy anything, I can go to a browser, and then I can paste it and be done. Super fast, didn't have to touch my keyboard. Another thing that I use all the time is a calculator. So on my scroll wheel, when I use the gesture, when I swipe left, a calculator opens up. Instantly, I have access to a calculator and I can start typing in different numbers, and then I'm done. So for calculator, I'm using the gestures for the scroll wheel. I'm just swiping left, so you can see that I have that there. And then also I use screenshot all the time, so just pressing down on my scroll wheel, that's also another gesture that I'm able to do. So I can easily just take a screenshot, just like that, and I don't have to open up any app to start the screenshot, or I don't have to press anything on my keyboard. When I need to find something really easily, I can swipe left for my top button here, and I can easily find something. I'm on my browser and I want to find something really fast. Instead of pressing Control F, I can just swipe left on my keyboard, the finder comes up, and I can search up, say, Mario for this one, and you can see Mario showing up everywhere. And that's just super useful, just save some time from going to your keyboard. So when you combine all these features together on this mouse, it's not doing anything crazy, it's just putting a keyboard shortcut onto a mouse, but just saving some time, not using, not moving your hand to your keyboard as much, it just saves a lot of time, it makes everything easier, and you're just able to work faster with workflow improvements using this mouse. So I know it's really expensive, this mouse, but it's totally worth it. It's not really about how ergonomic it is or how nice the scroll wheels are, which are a really nice added benefit, 
but the ability that you have with all these buttons is what really makes this a powerhouse and what makes it worth buying and spending all that money for. So if you're working every day in an office and you wanna be a little bit more efficient, get this mouse, it helps you out, you're gonna feel better, and you're just gonna be able to work faster and feel better using your computer. Hope you enjoyed the video. I wanna help you out just like it would my brother. See you in the next video.